Hey guys, Technology for All here, and today I'm gonna be unboxing my very first SSD, the OCZ Agility 3, 60 gigabyte version. Right now, my hard drive is a Caviar Black, 640 gigabyte. So um, I'm gonna be using that as my secondary drive, and this one's gonna be my OS holder. Some people say that um, that there's problems with it, and um, it's not enough space, but I read I read a couple of articles and stuff like that, or well, help forums, you know, from the OCC forums and YouTube videos of how to reduce space when you're installing Windows 7. So like, there's ways of making it from let's say 20 gigabytes it's, it it uses until like 10 gigabytes it uses, like for something like that. Um, it's called Trim, and as you, as you can see in the back, Trim is supported. Say a three sand force driven ML MLC flash memory, which I don't know. What the only means. downfall of this is that is you know I mean uh, not really a downfall, but my motherboard is uh, SATA two. It doesn't support SATA three, so I only get like half the speeds. So uh, yeah, enough blabbering. Let's get started. Oh, by the way, I didn't get it for 120 bucks. I actually got it for a freaking great deal, 60 bucks. That's a dollar a gigabyte. That's a freaking good good price if you ask me. So I have, I just had to get it. I had to get it. So, let's just unbox this real quick. Let me show you the box first. It's a little SSD here. OCZ technology, 60 gigabytes. OCZ, generally three, two and a half inch solid state drive. And then the little description here. Like I said, set of three, six gigabytes per second. Sound force driven, and we'll see flash memory and trim support. And different languages about, I'm guessing, of how efficient stuff the SSD is. And the specifications, let's see if it'll... Let me see if I can make it focus. There you go. So it reads up to 525 megabytes a second and writes up to 475 megabytes a second. But like I said, I'm uh, I'm set up too, so I'm not gonna get that full performance. But I'll get half of it, or at least something like that. So let's just open up the packaging. Oh, I hate these kind of plastics. Doesn't everyone hate these kind of plastics? Hold on. Um, um, okay, I'm back. Sorry for that. That was a huge fail. I pretty much just knocked over, like, the little vases that are next to this table or whatever. But everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm back. <laughs> that was a huge fail, though. Anyways, let's just get on with it. I got, I got it. Okay, so this little booklet, booklet thing. Well, it's not really a booklet, but it has the stuff inside, which I'll show you in a little bit. And the SSD itself. God, she's a beauty. <laughs> got a little metal casing here, but I believe it's plastic, and a little information there. All right, so let me put this off to the side. Alright, so what we have in this little booklet thing, my digger, is uh, an actual booklet about the solid state drive itself, like the installation guide, monitoring info, stuff like that. And the sticker that says, My SSD is resting in your HDD. Ha. Huh. Well, that's nice. <laughs> so, anyways, that's pretty much the unboxing. Um, I would have unboxed my converter that I purchased as well, but the thing is I had to use it right now because I'm doing something to my gaming rig. I'm actually redoing the cable management a little bit because I kind of got inspired to because I watched some videos of my computers and I see how beautiful their cable management is. So I just decided to cable management, do some cable management again. And um, yeah, and also because I needed to test out if the converter was right and stuff like Because I, I have another drive that's like this small, two and a half inch. So I wanted to see if the converter was actually right. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.